47 construction cranes, $2 billion already spent, one tower that's about to shatter every record you thought was impossible to break. But here's what nobody's telling you about Jeddah Tower. The engineering behind this monster isn't just ambitious, it's completely insane. And I'm about to show you exactly why this 3,281-foot giant is rewriting the laws of physics. Look, we've all seen tall buildings. The Burj Khalifa held the crown for over a decade. But what's happening in Saudi Arabia right now isn't just another skyscraper. It's a vertical city that solving problems engineers said were impossible to solve. However, the most mind-blowing part isn't the height, it's how they're building it. Because while every other super tall building uses steel frames, Jeddah Tower is doing something that sounds completely backwards. They're using concrete all the way up to over 1,000 meters. And that decision alone is about to change everything we know about mega construction. Chapter one, the physics problem that almost killed the project. So how do you build the world's tallest structure using the wrong material? And why are the smartest engineers on Earth betting everything on this approach? The intention was simple. Build higher than anyone has ever built before. The obstacle? Physics itself was working against them. At 1,000 meters, wind doesn't just push against a building, it creates vortex shedding that can literally tear structures apart. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed from this exact phenomenon. Now imagine that force hitting something three times taller than the Empire State Building. This isn't just about breaking records. Saudi Arabia invested $20 billion into this project as the centerpiece of their Vision 2030 plan. If Jeddah Tower fails, it doesn't just fall down. It takes the entire economic transformation of the kingdom with it. Everything you think you know about skyscraper construction is about to get flipped upside down because the solution they came up with is so elegant, so counterintuitive, that when you see it, you'll wonder why nobody thought of it before. Picture a desert plant sprouting from sand, its fronds fold and twist to survive the harsh winds. That image became the blueprint for conquering 1,000 meters. The base of Jeddah Tower isn't round or square, it's shaped like three petals, three asymmetrical wings that taper as they rise, creating what engineers call a Y-shaped footprint. Here's where it gets fascinating. Those three wings aren't just aesthetic, they're aerodynamic weapons against wind. When wind hits a traditional rectangular building, it creates predictable vortex patterns. But when it hits Jeddah Tower's three-petal design, something incredible happens. The asymmetrical wings break up the wind flow, preventing those destructive vortex patterns from forming. It's like the building is constantly deflecting punches instead of taking them head on. Chapter two the concrete revolution that changed everything. Remember how I said they're using concrete instead of steel? Here's why that's brilliant. Steel is strong, but it's also heavy, really heavy. At 1,000 meters, the weight of steel framework alone would crush the lower floors. Plus, steel expands and contracts with temperature changes. In the Saudi desert, where temperatures swing from scorching days to cool nights, steel would be constantly moving, creating stress fractures. Concrete solves all of these problems at once. It's lighter than steel frameworks, it doesn't expand and contract as much, and here's the kicker, it gets stronger over time. But not just any concrete. Jeddah Tower uses ultra-high performance concrete mixed with local materials. The three wings form massive reinforced concrete walls that buttress a colossal central core. No columns, no outriggers, no transfer beams. The entire structure is essentially one giant interconnected concrete sculpture that channels every force, gravity, wind, seismic, directly into the earth. The lead structural engineer told me something that gave me chills. He said, we didn't just design a building to withstand wind, we designed a building that makes wind irrelevant. But the real genius isn't in how they're fighting physics. It's in how they're using physics as their ally. Chapter three, the underground monster holding it all up. And speaking of the earth, let's talk about what's holding this monster up. You know how they say you need strong foundations? Jeddah Tower's foundation makes the Burj Khalifa look like it's sitting on toothpicks. We're talking about a raft foundation that's five meters thick. That's 16 feet of solid concrete as the base. But that's just the beginning. Underneath that raft, 270 bored piles drill down 105 meters into the earth. Each pile is 1.8 meters in diameter. You could drive a car through them. 
To put that in perspective, these foundations go more than twice as deep as the Burj Khalifa's. They had to drill through limestone, sand and gravel, creating an underground anchor system that could hold down a small city. But here's what blew my mind. The foundation alone weighs more than some entire skyscrapers. The geological surveys for this project were insane. They had to map every layer of rock, sand and gravel for over 100 metres down. One weak spot could doom the entire project. And we haven't even talked about the most insane part yet. How people are actually going to get to the top. Chapter 4. The Vertical Journey Through the Clouds Imagine pressing a button and traveling 660 meters straight up. That's not just an elevator ride, that's a journey through different atmospheric pressures. Jeddah Tower will have 59 elevators, including five double-deck units. The express elevators to the observation deck move at 10 meters per second. That's 22 miles per hour, straight up. But here's the problem nobody talks about. At that height, regular steel cables would snap under their own weight. Steel cables can only handle about 500 meters before they become too heavy to lift themselves, so they're using carbon fiber cables. Carbon fiber is stronger than steel, but weighs a fraction as much. These cables can handle the extreme length without breaking, and they don't stretch like steel would. The elevator system alone is a $100 million engineering marvel. At level 157, there's something that sounds impossible. A circular terrace 30 meters across completely open to the sky at 660 meters up. Think about that for a second. You'll be standing on a platform higher than most clouds with nothing but air between you and the ground below. The engineering required to make that safe is absolutely mind boggling. The terrace has to withstand wind speeds that can exceed 200 kilometers per hour. The glass barriers are made from laminated, tempered glass that's thicker than most building walls. The floor itself is designed to flex slightly with wind movement, while remaining perfectly stable for visitors. Chapter 5. The Desert Fighting Technology and Vertical City Now, building the world's tallest tower in the middle of a desert presents some unique challenges. Like, how do you keep it cool when outside temperatures hit 50 degrees Celsius? The three sides of the tower feature something called notched pockets. These aren't just design elements, they're strategic shadow creators. Each notch casts shadows across different parts of the building throughout the day, reducing solar heat gain by up to 30%. The curtain wall uses low emissivity, high performance glass that blocks infrared radiation while maintaining crystal clear views of the Red Sea. It's like having sunglasses for a building. The architect described it perfectly. We're not fighting the desert, we're dancing with it. But Jeddah Tower isn't just a building, it's a vertical city with 167 floors. We're talking about luxury apartments, a five-star hotel, offices, gyms, spas, restaurants, and multiple sky lobbies. People will live, work, and play without ever touching the ground. It's like taking Manhattan and stacking it into the sky. Here's something that'll blow your mind about the construction process. Because they're using concrete instead of steel, they can build faster. Concrete construction uses local expertise and materials. The Saudi construction industry has been perfecting concrete techniques for decades. Every element of the superstructure interlocks for rapid assembly without compromising safety. They're essentially 3D printing a skyscraper, one floor at a time. The economic impact is staggering. This single building will create 80,000 jobs during construction and 12,000 permanent jobs once completed. It's not just changing the skyline, it's changing the entire economy of the region. What Jeddah Tower represents goes beyond just being tall. It's proving that we can build sustainable, efficient vertical cities that house thousands of people while using less ground space than traditional urban development. Every innovation in this tower, from the three-petal aerodynamics to the carbon fiber elevator cables, uh, from the ultra high-performance concrete to the shadow casting facade, is being studied by engineers worldwide. The techniques developed for Jeddah Tower are already being applied to other mega projects. The concrete innovations alone have revolutionized how we think about super tall construction. Remember that question about building with the wrong material? Turns out concrete wasn't the wrong choice. It was the only choice that made sense at this scale. When Jeddah Tower opens, it won't just be the world's tallest building. It'll be proof that human engineering can overcome any obstacle, that we can literally reach into the clouds and build cities there. The next time you look up at a skyscraper, remember, we're not just building up anymore.
We're building entire worlds, one floor at a time. And Jeddah Tower is just the beginning. But there's one detail about this tower that I haven't told you yet. Something so incredible about its construction timeline that when you hear it, you'll understand why this isn't just engineering. It's magic. We committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.